Want to learn how to get a visually impactful opt-in on your site like this one? Then let's get started. Hey guys, and welcome to another Opt-in Monster video. If you think that opt-in forms or pop-ups have to be super boring and monotonous, then this is the video for you because it doesn't have to be that way. You can actually make some amazing and visually impactful opt-in forms using Opt-in Monster. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So stay tuned. Within your Opt-in Monster dashboard, click the green create new campaign button. For this opt-in, we'll be creating a slide in campaign. So we'll click there and we're going to scroll down to the canvas template. This will give us complete design control. Next, we'll want to name our campaign. We'll name it visually impactful slide in. Next, we'll choose which website to load this campaign on and we can start building. This will take us to the drag and drop builder. And as you can see, it says drag blocks and elements to start building your campaign. First, we're going to go to custom colors and here we can import the colors that we're going to use on our campaign. This will save us so much time. Next, we'll go to blocks and here we'll drag and drop an image element onto our campaign. Here, you can either upload a new image or add in one from your library. I created this image previously, and here we're gonna need to go in and delete some elements off of our campaign. So we'll delete this image that you can see here. We'll just click on the trash icon. We'll delete that element. And next, we're gonna go to opt-in settings, opt-in view styles, and here for background color, we're gonna move the slider all the way down so that the background is completely transparent. By the way, you'll need a PNG image with a transparent background as well for this. But next we're gonna drag and drop some opt-in fields onto our opt-in form. And here we can just press the X button to delete the fields that we don't need. I'm gonna leave it with just the email and the submit button. And then we're gonna to wanna to edit the design of that email field because Right now, it doesn't look like it belongs there. So first we're gonna decrease that width, but then we'll need to go to styles and make sure that it is a center alignment so that it lines up perfectly with our image. Then we're gonna go to the background color and I'm gonna make it a transparent background. Then we're gonna go down to the border color and here we can use the custom colors that we already have and choose which one we'd like. So just click on that pink color and then we're going to change the border radius to 30 and this will make our edges round. And I really like the way that it's starting to look and we'll change the border style to double. I love the way that this looks, but we're going to thicken the border to 10 pixels and that thickens it up and see, it's just starting to look like it all belongs like part of one opt-in form. Next, I'm just going to change the text of the placeholder so that it all fits in that little field. So I'll put enter your email and next we'll go to the buttons and here we can change the button text to say order mine. And then we're going to want to change the design to also fit the style of the rest of the opt-ins. So we're going to follow the same things. We're going to add that same pink color. We're going to thicken the width to 10 pixels, go to a double border style. And then we're also going to um, obviously change the border radius to 30 to round out those edges. And then we'll go up and we can shorten the width and we'll need to change the button alignment to center as well. And then we'll just adjust the width so that it perfectly fits. And we've got an email field and a button there that look really beautiful, but we'll obviously need to change the font color of our button. And coming up, we're gonna need to change the hover as well, but I'll show you how to do that. So next, we're gonna add in some text so that we can share a message that will convert our website visitors into subscribers. Because remember, people buy or subscribe based on words that convince them to do so. So I'm gonna write my message and then I'll change the text and the font color. And finally, we'll increase the font size. Up next, we're gonna go back to the button really quickly to change the hover. So right now I don't like the way it looks when I hover my mouse over it. So I'm just gonna copy regular styles and then I'm going to change a little bit of the design when you hover. I would like the background color to fill out 
with that pink color. And then I'm just going to change the font color to that darker pink. So that's what it's going to look like when you hover over the button. And I like the way that looks. So we can go to our next step. Since the call to action is it to order, I'm going to redirect to a URL. So in that action tab, I'll scroll down to redirect to a URL. In that form field, I'll simply put in the URL. And that's where website visitors will be taken when they click on order mine. So as far as design is concerned, I'm loving how this is looking. Right now, I just need to decide the display rules to decide where this is gonna show on my site and when. So we're gonna scroll down to if the current URL path is the homepage. I want this beautiful slide in to show on my homepage. And then I'm gonna determine that the distance scrolled is at least 30%. So that shows that they're reading, they're showing some interest. And then next will be the opt-in will show. And finally, the summary will confirm that our display rules are correct. And next in the integrations tab, we'll connect to our email marketing service provider, um, like Constant Contact, for example. And here in just a number of clicks, you can make sure that those email leads will be sent straight to your ESP. And finally, in the analytics tab, we're gonna connect to our Google Analytics account so we can see how this beautiful opt-in form compares to the rest and make data-driven decisions. And finally, in the publish tab, we'll toggle from pause to live and where it says preview campaign, we can take a look and see what this is going to look like on our site. And as you can see, this is a really unique way to stand out instead of just putting another square box on your site that no one even looks at anymore. This really will draw your user's attention to that opt-in form. Thanks so much for watching another Opt-in Monster video. I hope you learned a lot. Don't forget on our channel, you can find more videos that will help you grow your email list and grow your revenue. Don't forget to subscribe to get notifications of our new videos and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Yeah.